Well, good afternoon, guys. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video uh, to kind of update you on what is going on with uh, Cornerstone Community Church's reopening strategy. Uh, I want to spend just a few minutes, uh, you know, getting you an idea of where we are with that. I uh, want to just spend a, just give you a little bit of time for some folks to get on uh, and get connected. Hope everybody's having a great week. Uh, obviously, it's pretty soggy uh, this weekend. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to see the sun. Uh, we are uh, extremely wet here in Wilson County. And uh, I sure hope that uh, you guys are all hanging in there through through this season. Uh, again, just going to wait just a few minutes and get some, give folks time to get, get on. Uh, sorry we didn't give you any advance warning about uh, we were going to be doing this today, but uh, things are uh, developing quickly, as you might imagine. Uh, I know it feels Feels like it's been forever uh, in, you know, seeing uh, us get back together in in-person gathering. And uh, obviously, it's been a long time. Uh, we're on week 12 now. And uh, if you'd have told me that uh, when this all started that it would be 12 weeks and we'd still not be having in-person gathering, I don't know that I'd have believed you. I don't think anybody would have believed you. Uh, obviously, we're in unprecedented times right now with uh, this global pandemic. And uh, obviously, uh, it's required us to do some things differently. It's required us to do things creatively. And uh, I just want to say thank you to every one of you, uh, the, the folks here at Cornerstone Community Church. You guys have been extremely resilient, extremely flexible, and I uh, just really appreciate the heart and spirit of everyone as uh, we have negotiated this uh, very difficult time in the life of our nation as well as in the life of our church. Uh, you know, as a state of the church, I would have to say we're doing pretty well. Uh, obviously, we have not had anybody in our church that has uh, been sick with COVID-19. Uh, we have had people affected financially, obviously loss of hours, loss of job. Uh, but again, even with that, uh, we have seen uh, not a, a lot of that, but some of that. And uh, so far, so good, though. Everybody seems to be taking care of one another. And uh, again, it's a testimony to the strength of, uh, of, our, of our church and as well as realizing that, you know, that our church, uh, let's see, uh, so we have, are we having audio problems? Is that, a, can people, can you guys hear me? I see where BJ, you just said you can't hear me. Uh, is that better? Is that better? Uh, somebody, somebody, give me a shout out. Let me know if that's better or not. Uh, and I was trying to use the microphone on my headset, but uh, apparently it might not be as good as just going flat into the uh, to the to the microphone on my phone. So is that? Hopefully the audio is better and you can hear me a little bit better. But uh, you know, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. Um, obviously, our elders have been praying uh, and studying uh, how we can safely reopen Cornerstone Community Church for public worship. Uh, as you know, from, from um, day one, uh, our deal has been we have three criteria that we are going to follow as far as what we do uh, as for, uh, you know, in, in planning to reopen. Number one, we're going to pray about this, and that's exactly what we've been doing. We're going to seek the guidance of our head, Jesus. Uh, and just kind of follow his direction as we, uh, you know, try to do what's best for uh, our church. Number two, we're going to always prioritize the self, the the safety and the health of our people. Uh, and number three. We're going to do what is consistent with a good witness to our neighbors. We're going to love our neighbors by doing the very best we can uh, to glorify Christ through this. So that's been our, our kind of our benchmark for what we've tried to, to do as we try to figure out exactly how to safely reopen. Uh, you know, obviously, we, we know that there are other churches around us that are taking different, uh, you know, uh, steps than we are, and we celebrate that. You know, we, we said early on, every church needs to decide for them what is best for them and their 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 community and and uh, so we 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 realize that our plan might not look like another church's plan and another church's plan might not look like our plan and we're we're okay with that because again we want to do what's right for Cornerstone Community Church um 
You know, uh, one of the things I want to tell you up front uh, is that obviously what we are going to be doing as we begin the process of reopening, it's going to look uh, different from what we were doing pre-pandemic. Uh, obviously, there is going to be a transition period for every church in America as we uh, get back going. You know, someone someone said uh, recently that it's much easier to close down a church in a pandemic than it is to reopen one as the pandemic begins to subside. And I truly uh, agree with that assessment because this has been uh, this has been very difficult as we've tried to make the very best decisions that we can. Uh, our elders have been uh, reading uh, uh, CDC guidance. Uh, you know, uh, everything we can get our hands on, uh, obviously, because we want to educate ourselves about how to safely do this. Uh, obviously, when we reopen, it's going to require a servant's heart uh, amongst our church, as well as a lot of flexibility, because obviously we are going to want people, uh, you, you know, we're going to have to have people serve in a lot of different capacities that we haven't had before. Uh, but I know uh, the strength of Cornerstone Community Church has always been, let's roll up our sleeves, let's work together and let's get this done. Um, we are targeting uh, sometime in mid-June to try to move to in-person worship services. Uh, again, we're going to be giving you a lot more information here in the next week or so about what that's going to look like. Uh, uh, we'll give you a little bit more um information on the exact date that we are going to be doing this. Uh, with this, however, we are going to continue our online services. Uh, as you know, we were doing that before the pandemic. In fact, we've been on Facebook Live for several years uh, each Sunday. We are going to continue that because we realize that even though we are going to try to move toward in-person services, there are going to be people in our church who have underlying health conditions as well as who are more susceptible uh, to COVID than others that are just not going to be able to, to come out of the gate. Uh, because again, we still have a, uh, you know, a growing rate of infection in North Carolina. As you, you watch the news, you see the numbers. Uh, Nash, Edgecombe, Wilson County, we still have cases that are, are, are being reported. So uh, we're not out of the woods there. And there are people that are more susceptible than others that it just wouldn't be a good idea to get into a crowd. So therefore, uh, we're going to continue our online services as we always have. So though that will be available for those of you that cannot join us right now, uh, because we want you to participate in worship as well. Um, with that said, we're going to be sending out a survey. In fact, it's going to be posted in the comments of this video uh, pretty much as soon as I finish uh, this video. Uh, we want you to go follow that link. It's uh, with SurveyMonkey. Uh, all you do is click on the link. It'll carry you to the uh, survey. And it's about 10 questions. It's not going to take you a long time to do. We just want to gather some information from you uh, about how uh, we can do this. In fact, uh, that, that link just got posted as I was speaking. Uh, thank you, Melanie you're on the ball. Uh, but uh, we want you to go to that, that link and give us some feedback uh, on exactly how we can do this effectively. Uh, again, we have got some plans that have uh, been put together and we're going to be putting those out here very shortly. But we just wanted you to know that in-person worship will be coming back to the Cornerstone Community Church sometime mid-June. Um, Again, we're going to do this safely. We're going to do this the best way that we can. Uh, you know, I've been playing around in the the, the sanctuary. You know, uh, those of you who, who believe that I am somehow, you know, fascinated with chairs, uh, you would really get a kick out of this. Uh, we've, uh, you know, been moving some chairs around just to try to, to see how we could uh, accommodate, uh, you know, how many people we could accommodate with social distancing and whatnot. And, you know, so uh, we've been doing that. And so there have been lots of things that have been going on behind the scenes as we prepare to move toward uh, in-person worship. Uh, again, we just ask for your flexibility. We ask for you to uh, please... Um you know, realize that things can change rapidly. Obviously, if this, this this season has taught us anything, it's taught us how fluid everything really is because uh you know, it seems there is a uh, a lot of moving targets. You know, one they'll say one thing, and then two days later they'll say something else. So we're, we we realize this is a fluid situation, and uh, we're doing our best to to uh, negotiate that. But also, we want to get back to in person worship as soon as we can because we truly, truly miss being together in one place. Uh, that said, remember. 
the church is going well. Uh, the, the church is flourishing in this season uh, because the church is not a building. But now let's not minimize uh, how important it is for us to be together. Just because the church is not a building doesn't mean it's not important for us to get together to worship. Uh, you know, And so we're looking forward to, to, re, to renewing those bonds of fellowship in that way. Uh, again, uh, you know, we uh, ask that you join us this weekend. Obviously, this weekend we will be online only. Uh, you can join us at Facebook Live at 10 a.m. on Sunday, or you can join us on YouTube uh, and uh, continue to worship with us and participate in worship that way. Uh, obviously, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to post them on this video, as well as you can contact your shepherding elder. Uh, they'll be glad to talk with you about any uh, questions that you might have about this. Uh, again, uh, we appreciate your your patience. We appreciate your your support. Uh, you know our church has has shown amazing unity around all this. And and guys, let let me speak to that before I close out. Uh, yes, there are a lot of different opinions about a lot of things uh, concerning this pandemic. And you know I've seen unfortunately a lot of conflict within the evangelical church in America. You know you got churches vilifying each other because they're taking different approaches to this pandemic. And and uh, I want to say this without reservation, Cornerstone Community Church will not engage in that kind of rhetoric because it, it's not helpful. It's not edifying to our community. It does not glorify Christ. And we will not vilify another church simply because they are taking a different approach to this than we are. Uh, also inside of our church, you know, we're going to love each other even as we might disagree about the level of, uh, you know, safety that we're going to try to promote. Uh, you know, obviously I have absolutely no question about the quality of the people and disciples we have at Cornerstone Community Church. Truly, uh, this is a place where people love one another. And I truly believe that our church will shine through this. Uh, I believe that uh, we will all do what is necessary to love our brother and to make sure that every one of us is uh, doing what we can to keep everyone safe but also to glorify Christ. Again, I thank you so very much for checking this out. And uh, this is going to be posted. So please, uh, the, you know, if you know folks who uh, weren't able to tune in, didn't see it, please have them go to this and check it out. We're also going to be emailing the link to the survey uh, as well as posting it on our other social media platforms. So please know uh, that plans are in, at work and getting in-person worship going again at Cornerstone Community Church. Uh, thank you so much much for tuning in and I look forward to hearing uh, the feedback uh, from you so that we can all uh, have a collective voice in how we approach this really important season. God bless you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend.